Heavenly Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we thank you, Father God, that you saved us for all of eternity. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you did a perfect work and that we are all members of your body, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, we all know that we are saved because, Holy Spirit, you live on the inside. And Father God, we bless your holy presence and we thank you, Father, for this, this masterpiece. This masterpiece that you have created from the beginning of time. For you are the Alpha until the very end, the Omega. So Father, as we just bless your holy presence, we just ask you, Holy Spirit, to teach us. You are our only teacher. Pastor John, myself, whoever's preaching, Father, we're just a mouthpiece. We just worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we don't touch any of your glory. This is all for you, Father. And Father God, we just thank you so much for all of eternity that you love us. So Father, have your way. I plead your holy and precious blood. And I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you bind up every demonic principality right now. That Heavenly, Heavenly Father, that any tormenting thought, any anxiety, worry, depression, any kind of crunchiness, Father God, is rebuked right now through your blood. And Father God, that your beloved children can just sit in your presence Trusting in your perfection, Lord Jesus Christ, and receiving a fresh anointing from heaven through your Holy Spirit. Father, once again, we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Open Arms Community Church, Father God, we worship you in spirit and in truth. And Father, we just thank you so much. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And it's in Jesus Christ's name and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Our worship service uh, for this morning is titled Masterpiece, and we're going to spend some time in John 14, starting in around verse 10, up to around 20, 21, and then we're going to close in uh, the book of Revelation. Praise God. You guys look fantastic. Hallelujah. Are you all excited to be here? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Say it with me. It's a new day. You know, um, many of you who've been here for years now know, and I'm just going to say this because Holy Spirit said I can, so I'm all, always excited when he gives me permission. Every morning, every morning, whoever Holy Spirit wakes up first, every morning we make a cup of coffee, either Trish or myself, and we prepare the coffee and we go into the room and we go, Good morning, God bless you, God loves you. Good morning, God bless you, God loves you. Good morning, good morning, God bless you, God loves you. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> You're right, thank you, right? Come on, Brother PJ, right? And, and you know, and, and, and I'll tell you right now, little things like this that Holy Spirit does through us to bless one another is life-changing. Amen. And, and once again, this isn't something that you must do. Of course not, right? God gives us all free will. Amen. But what I love is when you start the day off already in praise. Thankful for the masterpiece. Amen. And this is the title of this worship service. Say it with me, masterpiece. masterpiece. You know, the funny thing is I put this up here because to me, a masterpiece, what you got up here is a 1955 Volkswagen bus. 23 window. Go like this. Ooh. I, I, I think it's a masterpiece, right? To some people, they think that's junk. I'll pray for you. <laughs> but that, that Volkswagen is around 100 grand. Can you believe that? So having said that, if I had that bus, then I'd have to protect it with some pistols, <laughs> right? And I'm going to get myself some George Washington saddle pistols. Pastor John, you see that right there? And it's so funny, I pull up this picture, I say, Holy Spirit, where are we going with this? Because beloved church family, please understand, I'm a worshiper just like you, amen? God is our teacher, hallelujah. So there, I'm just asking God, where are we going with this? He says, just keep doing what I'm doing and we'll tie it in together, okay? So please keep this all in prayer, hallelujah. So George Washington saddle pistols, guess how much that costs? <laughs> My beloved said, what? I told you we should have got it at a goodwill. Everything at Goodwill. I'm like, honey, can I get this? That's junk. Put it back. Anyways. Next. At 56th Avenue of Champions in Nicholasville, you know, you got the ride. You got the Volkswagen bus. You got the pistols, right? You got to have a nice crib. Amen. 
Now, for those of you who want to build something like that, praise God. We got Brother William, Pastor John here. They'll build you something like that. Praise God. But don't expect to get it done for 100 grand. See, Pastor, I blessed you right away. <laughs> don't, don't expect. <laughs> I want that house. Pastor Joe, he said you could build that house. I got 100 grand. That's $8 million. So, of course, you got the nice, you got the nice mansion, right? $8 million mansion. I wanted to show you this. Oh, it just gets gooder and gooder. Paul Newman Rolex, $17 million. I'll tell you right now, you got a $17 million watch on your wrist. How in the world can you even act right? Right? I mean, I, I mean, seriously, $17 million, they'd be like, what time it is that? I don't know. I don't know what time it is. Kevin, stop asking me what time it is. Look on your, own, look on your phone. You know, $17 million. And, of course, you got that kind of watch. You're going to have to have the car to match it, right? This is a Bugatti. I can't even pronounce them words. I'm not going to fake it with you guys. I don't, you, who can pronounce that? How, yes, God bless you. $19 million. $19 million, right? Now, how many of you know that with our Father God, money ain't nothing? Amen? Can I get an amen? Money is nothing, right? So, the reason why I had to have that car is I'm on my way to the art gallery to pick up the rabbit that I bought. I bought this Jeff Koons rabbit. For the house. How much was my house? Eight million dollars. So I just wanted to do, do something nice for the house. You know how much my rabbit is? Ninety-one million dollars. This is all real now. I'm not making none of this up. This is all real stuff. If you're taking notes, write it down. You can look it up yourself. This rabbit is made out of aluminum and they polished it up real nice so it looks like a balloon. I'd rather buy a balloon rabbit. I don't know. Maybe I'm just such a simple guy, right? 91 million, Sister Carrie. 91 million. So I show all of this to you because you look at this grand total. It's 137 million dollars, right? 137 million dollars. You think that's astronomical? Everybody give a round of applause. Sister Margie's right here. I missed you. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. And your beloved daughter blessed our socks off Wednesday night. We had so much fun Wednesday night. Praise God. Like Pastor Tish said, if you all know any youth, come on now. What, what age, Pastor, Pastor Mary, what age are they supposed to be? Seventh grade to, through the twelfth. If you all know anybody. I mean, they don't even have to come here, but just put the invite out there. Amen. Oh, it's so anointed, so blessed. I mean, you know, just it's amazing as far as what these warriors for Christ are going through. It's a different world we live in, right? So I say all that to you because it takes us to this and it leads us into the worship service. And we're going to get into the foundation of the written word. And then we're going to move forward, okay? $137 million. Leonardo da Vinci, not DiCaprio. All right? Leonardo da Vinci, Salvatore Mundi. Say that with me. Salvatore Mundi. Come on now, say it, like an, say it like with an accent. Salvatore Mundi. Whew, they gave me cold chills, right? Check this out. Salvatore Mundi, 2017, was sold at a Christie's auction for 450, come on brother PJ, million dollars. Right now, it's estimated to be over half a billion Half a billion dollars, right? So all that in a nutshell, the reason why I say that is because that one painting could buy three of everything that we just went through. That one painting, you could buy three of everything. You could have three bunny rabbits, Brother Chris. Three Bugattis we can all share, right? Right? I don't, know how you, I don't know how you put groceries in that thing. Can you imagine going to Walmart in a Bugatti? You had to make like 12 trips to go get all your groceries? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let's just move on. Praise God. Pray for me. Amen. Say it with me. Salvatore Mundi. I put X3 up there because for one, it reminds us times three. All those things. 147 million. 
You could buy times three of that, still have pocket change left over because of that one painting, right? Salvatore Mundi. Mm. Salvatore Mundi. Come on, say it with me. Salvatore Mundi. Amen? Say it like you own something. Salvatore Mundi. Oh, there you go. That's good. Praise God. <laughs> Verse 10 in John 14. Bible starts off saying, don't you believe. We got to be careful now, okay? Remember when the Bible starts off, therefore? therefore. Amen. Don't you believe God is right away checking your brain, your spirit, and your flesh going, if you believe, all this has to be in line, right? If you believe, all this has to be. You cannot say, Sister Madison, oh, I believe, I believe, yes, I believe Jesus, your Lord, but then your heart is persuaded to go this way when Jesus, that's not believing. Can I get an amen? That's not, come on, family, that's not believing now, right? God is saying, don't you believe, amen? Say it with me, I believe. All right, I believe, hallelujah, that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me. Right away, hallelujah, right away, Lord Jesus Christ, being God Almighty, is telling anybody who has ears to hear, the master, God, the master, there's a piece of him in me. And there's a piece of me that is in the master. See, how many of you know Jesus Christ is Lord? Just say amen. amen. Hallelujah. See, right there. Right there, God is saying, a piece of me is in you, and you are in me. Say with me, masterpiece. masterpiece. Hallelujah. The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Here's Lord Jesus Christ right away now, telling all of his disciples, whoever has ears. Remember, when I say whoever has ears to hear, I'm talking about those who believe. Amen, beloved church family? Anybody can hear. My goodness, praise God, I got big ears because it's been wearing masks every day. Right? I thank God for big ears now. I remember when I was little, I used to tape them back because I got teased all the time. I used to sleep taping them back. Looked like a goofball. Just wrapped it up. And now I'm just like, yeah, that's what's up. I could hold, I could hold any mask in Jesus' name. Amen? <laughs> Here, Lord Jesus Christ is saying, Brother PJ, I don't speak on my own. I'm a masterpiece. And the master gives me the pieces to speak. And he's introducing this world because, of course, Lord Jesus Christ hasn't died yet and hasn't been glorified yet. But he's introducing this world to Holy Spirit. Because remember, Holy Spirit only speaks what the Father releases. Holy Spirit never says anything. God doesn't work this way, family. God is a God, say it with me, of order. Hallelujah. And this divine order is beyond what we can comprehend or understand. Meaning that no matter what you're going through in this season of your life, if you could just break away from what, quote unquote, the realities of this world may look like and rest your faith in Lord Jesus Christ in believing that he is perfect and worthy. When you believe in Lord Jesus Christ and you call out to the Father, Holy Spirit says, I will anoint you and bless you with my holy presence to overcome that situation. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a promise, beloved church. It's a promise from our Father God. Amen? Listen, there's some of you right now, and I feel for you. I feel for you. There's some of you right now that you're just so, you're, you're, you're so torn up right now. Just, I feel for you. I'm not making fun of you. All I'm asking you right now is this right here, that's the devil. You need to know this. That's the devil right now just riding you. And God has given you the authority in his blessed building with the anointing of Holy Spirit flowing through all of his children to say, no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say with me, no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Heavenly Father. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Amen. Say it with me, his work. his work. Last time I checked, if you go back to the beginning, who was waiting to speak Lord Jesus Christ? Who was hovering the earth? Holy Spirit. When God spoke Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God, Lord Jesus Christ is the word of God, the Alpha and the Omega. It's always been, amen? From beginning to end, it's always been agape. Say it with me, Father. Hallelujah. He is our God Almighty, amen? 
He is our God Almighty. And he spoke Jesus and the Holy Spirit said, I got you. Amen. And boom, let there be light. Amen. Can you say that with me? Let there be light. Let there be light. Say it with conviction. Let there be light. Let there be light. In Jesus' name, right now, God knows in the Holy of Holies what are the desires of your heart. And when you say let there be light, you are saying the very thing God our Father said that manifested all of this into fruition. And all God is saying is for you to release in faith. Hallelujah, 2 Corinthians 4, 13, right? The spirit of faith. I believe, right? I believe. And therefore, I speak. Hallelujah. Speak it. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Speak it. Amen. Praise God. We got a lot to go through. Let's go. Believe me. And in verse 12, it says, very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me. How important right now is Lord Jesus Christ stressing the fact to his beloved church right here, 2020, that it's important to believe. Do you understand? Raise your hand if you understand. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let's, let's go through this. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the works, Holy Spirit, themselves. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do works I have been doing. And they will do even, say with me, greater. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, when God says greater... Is there anything greater when God says greater? No. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? amen? When God, our Father, says you will do greater things, beloved Son of God. You will do greater things. Well, Brother Joy, uh, how is that possible? I'm not a preacher. That don't mean nothing. I'm not a leader. That don't mean nothing. I don't have Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that means something. We need to get that right. Amen. You can't go to the water park and have no water. That's just a park. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you, that's just a park, right? Amen? So first things first, receive the perfect sacrifice of God. Amen? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I have Lord Jesus Christ, but pastor, how am I going to do greater works? Spend time with him. Spend time with him. Right, Brother Joey? Spend time with him. May I say this to you? I share everything. I, I share everything. With I got nothing to hide. I served the devil longer than I did my Lord Jesus Christ. I did some of the most horrible things. I got you all beat. It's not a contest, but I do. Praise God, that person's dead and gone. Amen. But I will tell you, that old person, when you saw him come around, you knew this ain't good. Now, the reason why I say this is because when you meditate and spend time with something, you start to get influenced, right, Pastor Tish? Influence, Pastor Mary, that was the word Wednesday Holy Spirit gave us. When you hang around with demons and devils, this world, that starts to influence you. And it actually starts to affect not only the way you look at situations or circumstances, but now how you start reacting. And when you're negatively influenced with this world, this world wants to try to deposit deception. And then guess what? Now, Brother Brandon, it's all about me. You see, this is what this world is, is designed to do. It's to take your eyes off of Lord Jesus Christ and put it on yourself and your situation. I call it the Eeyore syndrome. Whoa, nobody loves me. Nobody likes me. Well, of course, because you're Eeyore. All you're doing is speaking negativity. All you're doing is speaking death. Every time that there's something wrong, it's all about you. You never do anything wrong. Right? And what God is asking, listen, beloved church family, I don't judge any one of you. I can't do it. Holy Spirit in me won't allow me. God is the only judge. Amen? Amen? But what I am exposing through agape, through his light, is that you have to be aware as far as who is influencing you in your life. Are you surrounding yourself with godly people? Are you surrounding yourselves with lions? Whew. I'm a lion for Christ. Amen. I'm a lion, for, meaning that if you're a lion with me, that means we just focus on our Father God. 
This means that we're ready to attack every foul garbage thing in Jesus' name. This means that we have each other's back. That we won't say one bad thing toward each other. We won't grumble or complain. Amen. We got each other's back. Hallelujah. You know why? Because he has our back. See, we do everything because of what he has done. Say it with me, masterpiece. Whatever works you'll be doing, you'll be doing greater things than these because I am going back to the Father. Salvatore Mundi. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name. And I will do it. Amen, Pastor. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are one. And praise God the pastor said amen. Because I was like, crickets. What's going on here? Right? That's an amen moment, beloved church family. Let's say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, when God says that he will do anything that you ask in his name, make sure that you have a relationship with God. I have so many people tell me, well, I pray to hit the lottery. Is this thing on? Ah, I pray to hit the lottery. It's like, what in the world? Verse 15 through 17. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be, say with me, church family, in you. Amen. So where is God? <laughs> Beloved church family, this is life changing for those of you who will receive it. But for those of you who don't want to receive it, who wants to think that God is over a double rainbow. And that you can live your life any way you want. You will continue living life hurting God. Because he lives on the inside. And what God is asking of you is to wake up. You know how blessed we are to have so many beloved little ones in Open Arms Community Church, right? These little children. And praise God, I know most of, most of your mommies and daddies and grandparents and everything else, right? I'm so thankful that these children are coming. Amen? Because I'll tell you right now, only Lord Jesus Christ, only Lord Jesus Christ can save them. Not mommy, not daddy, not grandmommy, grand, well, peepop, mama, papa, peepop, pop, pop, right? Only Lord Jesus Christ can. And I want to say thank you so much for all you parents that are bringing your children in. Praise God. Oh, I want to just, I want to just boast. I'm, I know it's on all on Lord Jesus Christ, but Brother Dustin actually hooked up the worship TV outside. So please let your family know who have little bitty bitty ones. They could bring them here. That whole lobby area now is for parents that have kids, and they're not going to disrupt anything. And they could see the worship service in the lobby area too. Amen. <laughs> Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Dustin. Praise God. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say it with me, masterpiece. masterpiece. You know, when, when, when the Bible, the written word of God, was never intended for it to be used to beat people up. That, that written word, this, this written word right here. Hallelujah. Amen, brother. It was, never, it was never intended by God Almighty for you to take this and go, you are doing things wrong and sinning and you need to get right and all that. Listen, all that may be the truth, but that's Holy Spirit's job. What God has asked us to do as his beloved children is to utilize this that in Holy Spirit, in worship, in intimacy with God, Holy Spirit will tell you, you know what? I want you to read the book of Revelation right now. I'll tell you right now, there's sometimes he'll take you to scripture. And as soon as you get to it, I'll tell you right now, you'll try to be like, 
oh my goodness, I don't understand any of these people. What's going on? Right? And he guess what you'll try to do? You'll try to go to that, and the Holy Spirit will say, no, no, I want you to read that. And the glory of God is you start reading it, and then ha hallelujah, Holy Spirit starts teaching you the written word of God. Amen. Amen? And then you start reading, and next thing you know, two hours went by. Right? But the glory of God is, is that when you invest in this, there is a return on your investment. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And that investment is what God's beloved son said, eternity. Eternity, amen. So I encourage you, beloved church family, let's, let's crack open that Bible, right? Right, let's crack open that Bible. You know, the, I'll tell you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's been such an uprise after COVID hit with rebellion with youth. And a big part of it was, is because, as you guys know, when you, when you take somebody out of their regular element, it's like a fish out of water. There's that initial shock, and it's like, oh my gosh, what do we do? What do I do, right? And unfortunately, what could have been used as a platform to bring families together and say, look at what the devil's doing with all this virus and chaos. It's time for us to unite as a family. It's time for us to come together and get into the word, study, worship. It's time for us to get together. Unfortunately, I'm just going to say it, a lot of families just got lazy. Became idle. Allowed electronics and technology to start babysitting the kids. While we all just be busy entertaining ourselves. Family, this wasn't even part of the worship service, but I'm telling you because this trumpet is going to go off. Do you not think that Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon? Now, if we truly believe that... How are we living our lives? All of this garbage fighting and bickering and complaining. Is it really worth fighting, bickering, complaining about what you owe me, what I don't did, I didn't get this, you did this to me, you did that? Is it really worth staying here on hell when the rapture takes place? See, right now, Holy Spirit is checking everyone's mind right now. That if you feel like you're a prisoner of your mind, that you, you truly want to start, start living this life as far as getting high, partying, drugs, promiscuous sex, whatever you're doing, wake up. Because not only is God aware of what you're doing, you are not promised tomorrow. I heard from beloved Pepe Wednesday night. She don't care if I share this with you. We were talking about the rapture, and she said something that shook me to my core. She said, well, you mean dying, rapture, same thing. Now, how beautiful is that, though, from a youth, from the mouth of babes? Can I tell you right now? She's right. I'll let it stir around. Give God praise for that. Let's us weak. Amen. You see, we are waiting for this trumpet to go off so that our next breath is in the glory of God. Amen. But for those, for, but for those who take their last breath and die, guess what? That next breath, they're in the presence of God. Amen. And don't you love it that from a mouth of babes, it's it's conviction. Because here we are talking about all, oh, see in the next half an hour. I say it all the time. Pastor and I, we say it all the time to each other. Leaders, we say it all the time. Brother William always tells me, next five minutes. But you know how I know a brother believes that it's the next five minutes? The fruit of his life. The fruit of his beloved. Amen? That there's such conviction in your heart that I'm not just saying that God is coming back in the next half an hour. You observe the way I live my life. You observe the way I treat others. 
You observe when I get hurt what I do. Do I? Wah! Do I? No. I pray in Jesus' name none of y'all hurt me. You don't want to hurt a pastor. I do. I pray that. You don't want to hurt leadership. You don't want to hurt another child of God. Can I get an amen? amen? The reason why, God knows. And when we rebuke pride and we rebuke the emotions and we take it to the foot of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, God says, it's forgiven. It's washed clean by my blood. I, I, I got it covered. Amen. Hallelujah. Say with me, Salvatore Mundi. <laughs> Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. Now, what are, what are Lord Jesus Christ's commands? Love God with? With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your strength. Amen. Who is the only one capable of doing that in you? Holy Spirit. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Right off the bat, God is saying, who is God? Father speaks through the Son, through Holy Spirit, and the Son issues the new command. Why? Because he fulfilled everything. Hallelujah. Let's give Lord Jesus Christ praise for that. Oh, my goodness. He fulfilled it all in his perfection. That's perfect blood, the blood of God that was spilt for you and me. And Lord Jesus Christ says, I want you to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Now, the only way we can do that is going through the way. John 14, 6, right? Lord Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, the life. Amen. The only way to the Father is through Hallelujah. See, there's many of you in this building right now who have received Lord Jesus Christ as your own. And you know that you are saved. Amen. And there's some of you right now that's going through a tough season in your life. I encourage you right now. There's miracles and blessings in God's house today. Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Don't leave here. Don't leave here the same. Amen. amen. Don't leave here the same. Hallelujah. I already witnessed a beloved daughter get healed of arthritis. Amen. It already took place today. Amen. You need healing on your body. You let God know and God will do it. Amen. The one who loves me will be loved by my father. And I too will love them and show myself to them. Amen. Say with me, masterpiece. 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 Hallelujah. I tried to take a close-up picture of this painting of Salvatore Mundi. Salvatore Mundi. <laughs> I love that. And when I was trying to take a picture that I didn't really capture it really well is this crystal ball that, that, that he's holding. And that's fine because I'll, I'll, we'll just move on. But half a billion dollars. I wouldn't know what to do with half a billion dollars. I'd probably buy a zoo. If you keep Trish busy, <laughs> the pastors over there, pastors over there go, yeah, right? No, of course, of course, we, we would do amazing things for the Lord, amen? And of course, we said times three and all that. Of course, we know that times three means as far as what the agape say with me, church. Can you break God up? So can you worship Lord Jesus Christ and just say Lord Jesus Christ and nobody else? What about can you go directly to God without Lord Jesus Christ but claim to be super spiritual? That, that's where we live in now. Come on now. Ain't that the truth? That's what we live in now. Amazing wor worship bands, right? Amazing worship bands and amazing things just to cater to itching ears, right? Can you have Holy Spirit without Lord Jesus Christ? See, the glory of God is right now in your answer from the Holy of Holies. You guys are just filling heaven with praises. Because this is exactly what God died for, to have your presence in heaven for all of eternity. Amen. Say it with me, my presence. Wow. Hallelujah. So when we look at the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's important. I was going to do another overlay, but Holy Spirit said he didn't want, he wanted to leave it right here for now. But the reason why it's so important, beloved church family, when we know Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's because you know as a child of God, you are a three-part being. Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? amen? You have a soul. If you feel led, do it with me. I have a soul. I have a spirit. I live in this body. 
See, the same thing goes for our Heavenly Father. Amen? He is eternal. He's the keeper of our soul. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit lives in the Holy of Holies. And we live in the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? Oh, when you worship God this way. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. When you worship God this way, God will move mountains. Why? Because you're in complete submission. You're in complete submission. Even though if you have loved ones who passed on. Right? Listen. God knows that you've missed them tremendously. God knows that it aches. But all God is asking for you to do is stay focused on my perfect sacrifice. Because there will be a day when I blow my trumpet and you will see them and you'll be with them for all of eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Say with masterpiece. So I want to... We're going to tie everything up, pray God, in the masterpiece. Salvatore Mundi. <laughs> I love you, Brother PJ. Salvatore Mundi. I want you to take a really close look. Now, I'm no artist. I just do what Holy Spirit tells me. Hallelujah. And guess what? Like pastor spoke, Holy Spirit taught us, Lord Jesus Christ is enough. Amen. 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 And I just want to, I want you to stare at this picture and just look at this real quick as a transition. As I click on, as I click on, as I click on, as I click on. For those of you who don't know, Salvatore Mundi is Latin for Savior of the world. Say that with me, Savior, Savior. of the world. And, and I want to back up on the picture real quick because we know the Savior of the world. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Salvatore Mundi. See, all y'all thought, see, don't judge me. You guys thought Joey done lost his mind. <laughs> saying all this Salvatore Mundi nonsense. No, I'm just saying Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. <laughs> Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, we took, we, we, we took a backup picture of this half a billion dollar painting. Salvatore Mundi. This half a billion dollar painting, as you can see, in Lord Jesus Christ's left hand is that crystal that I was talking about. In Revelation 22, 1 says, Then the angel showed me in the river of the water of life, as dear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Amen. We're going to close in this scripture. Say it all together with me. For we are... Say it like you mean it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. See, the beauty of God's anointing in your life, if we go all the way back to the Old Covenant, Old Testament, if we even go back to when Moses led all the captives all, the, all, all of God's people out of slavery. If you guys recall in that story, they stood there and there was just water. And they turned around and they could see all the Egyptians coming, armies. And then you had all of God's children. All of God's children say, Moses, why did you lead us out here? We were better off being slaves. We were better off in captivity. We were better off. And it took one man, one man to not look at the water and the distraction, but to look at our Heavenly Father and say, Father, you did not lead me here to die. I'm just going to raise my hands, worship you, and praise you. And you know what happened. Amen. What happened? That water, right? That water split open. Amen. Say it with me, masterpiece. masterpiece. You see, there was a piece of God that was deposited in Moses in that relationship that they originally shared at that burning bush. Don't you love that part? Oh, don't you love that? You can't tell me if you've seen a burning bush and it ain't burning, you ain't going to go look. 
Come on now, right? That's almost having like a construction site and not looking through the slats. I can't do it. I got to look through. Seriously, I, Trish says pray for me because I'm nosy. I am. I'm nosy. But look at what God is saying here. That because you are his masterpiece, that wherever you go in your life, as long as you believe, say with me, I believe. As long as you believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that you know that God lives in you. How many of you know that there's a devil? Amen. See, the sad part is we're living in such a twisted world and generation that the only way you can really get people's attention now is not talking about the goodness of Lord Jesus. It's letting them know how garbage the devil is. Can I get an amen? amen? For many of you like me who have been down the enemy's road and how he tried to lead you to that destruction, steal, kill, and destroy, by the grace of God, he saved you. Amen? amen? But my point is, is this. Are you going to go back to that old life? Or are you going to leave here knowing that you are a masterpiece? masterpiece. Say it with me, I am. His masterpiece. His masterpiece. Amen. Stand up with me. Praise God. We're going to close. We've got a couple songs. Hallelujah. Intentionally, Holy Spirit wanted this message to be a little bit on the shorter side. I know some of you are like, hallelujah. Praise God. Get some tacos. Uh, <laughs> it's always good to laugh. Amen. I just want to say this. You're my brother and sister. If you are my brother and sister, you have asked God for forgiveness of all the things that you have done. And that's what the Bible calls repentance, that you've actually repented. You, 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 faced, you faced God and you said, God, I am sorry. And it's in that sorry that you say, I need a Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I need you in my heart, in my life. Lord Jesus Christ, be one with me. However you did it, listen, you may have not even spoke words. You may have just cried your heart. It was a perfect prayer. I'll tell you that right now. But I know that there's some of you in here that have not done that. And I'm going to tell you right now, the altar is open. If you are my brother and sister, you have received that gift from God, that perfect sacrifice. And Holy Spirit has come upon you. And Holy Spirit now lives in you, and you know his presence. You could feel his presence. You could hear his voice. You know what makes him laugh, and you know what hurts him. And you do your best not to hurt him. And that's why we have the grace of God, because we don't have to continue living in sin. This is what's called being a child of God, right? It's a relationship, amen? amen. Say it with me, relationship. relationship. See, if you are my brother and sister... You received the peace of the master when you said, Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and my Savior. You received that perfect gift. But see, God didn't leave you as orphans, as Lord Jesus Christ said. Lord Jesus Christ says, because I am perfect, because Lord Jesus Christ is worthy, Lord Jesus Christ says, I'm going to give you another helper. And he is the one that will seal you for all of eternity he is the one that's going to love you beyond what your spouse can do. Beyond what your boyfriend or girlfriend can do. Beyond what your mommy or daddy, your mama, papa, peep, pop, pop, pip. Holy Spirit will fill every void in your life in Jesus' name. Everything. And that's God's way of depositing another piece of the master in you. Amen. Beloved church family, when this music kicks on, I encourage you. I encourage you. Once again, I, I'm not going to look at nobody. I ain't did this in a while. I ain't going to look at nobody. I encourage you to come to the altar because God has miraculous. I could feel it. E even before the praise and worship team got done singing, I can feel the anointing like a mighty ocean right now. And I encourage you. Don't allow the devil to put fear on your heart. To not come and receive a blessing and a miracle. Amen? Amen? Don't allow. Right now. If there's somebody ready to come, just come. In Jesus' name. 
If there's somebody ready to come, don't even wait. Because Holy Spirit said there's somebody that just want to come up here. Now, for, the, for those of you right now who are standing there in, in your, at your chairs, as this altar is being filled, it's not, none of it's ever for anybody who's, pre, it's all for Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to put a challenge for those of you standing here. See, you, weren't, you didn't know that God was going to do this right now. But God showed me that there's many of you right now that when you leave here, the devil rides you. Whether it's through depression, anxiety, addiction, worry. The reason why Holy Spirit had this pause right now in this worship service, God is saying, will you come forward, amen? I'm going to leave it at that. We're all grown people. It's free will, amen? But expect a miracle in Jesus' name, amen? Hallelujah.